Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakhar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered to the four corners of the globe, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim. That be like unto the speckled bird, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And I say shout out to you, Akim, out there. And this is another uh, quick sit down lesson in the news. Again, um, on June 19, 2022, on this uh, Sunday afternoon. And this is another. Um, update on um, more rumors of wars continuing on increasing <coughs> and this is a, another news article from msn.com from newsweek and this is from six hours ago and it was published by fatima khalid in the highlight of this news article, and it reads, Troops must prepare to fight in Europe, amending Russia threat, UK Army Chief says. <coughs> it says the, uh, the United Kingdom's Army Chiefs, Sir Patrick Sanders said, that the British troops must prepare to fight in Europe as a Russian-Ukraine war rages on. There is none. There is now a burning, I meant to say, imperative to forge a army capability of fighting alongside our allies. In defeating Russia in battle, Sir Patrick said, writing to his charges after he took over his new post on Monday to the Independent. We are generation that must prepare the army to fight Europe once again. The British government announced plans last March to lower the number of personnel its regular army from 82,000 to 72,500 I mean 72,500 by 2025 the army has about 76,500 regular soldiers at the same time of the announcement <coughs> the Russian invasion I mean, the Russian invasion of Ukraine, which, you know, they kind of consider as an operation in Ukraine, underlines our core proposed to protect the UK by being ready to fight and win wars on land. Sir Patrick added, his remarks comes at the Prime Minister Boris Johnson visit Kyiv on Friday which he said that the war in Ukraine must take might take longer to end. <coughs> it says after his visit to the country's capital, Prime Minister warned that Russian President Vladimir Putin's war is entering a new phase that it would not stop at dismembering Ukraine if Russian troops achieve their goal. <coughs> I am afraid that we need to steer ourselves for a long war as Putin resorts to a campaign attrition trying to grid down Ukraine by 
Shirin Brutality Boris Johnson wrote the Sunday Times according to the Sky News. The UK and uh and our friends must respond ensuring that <coughs> has the strategic endurance to survive and venture prevail. It says Minister added, everything will depend on whether Ukraine can script its ability to defend its soil faster than Russia can renew their capital capabilities to attack right because uh you have the uh, uh nato and the uh western allies with the united states i believe is going to uh fund them with more weaponry of uh one billion dollars of uh another additional one billion dollars of military aid so so that let you know the war is still going to continue on and continue with the news article <coughs> uh, NATO Security General Jen Stomberg echoed his remarks saying that the Russian invasion could last for years during an interview published in the German Weekly Blit and the M Sun Tag on Sunday, the Associated Press reported. He also called for allies to continue to support Ukraine if the costs are high, not only in terms of military aid, but also because of the increase of energy and food gas prices. <laughs> It says Russia may increase its troops in uh, Ukraine. Meanwhile, four months into the war, Russia increases its troops in Ukraine. According to the voyage of the transatlantic defiance and the security program at the center of European analysts, it says the former advisor to the U.S. Army warned Saturday that Belarus troops could potentially be deployed in Ukraine as a Belarus military is set to conduct training this month in July. Right, because I believe Belarus, the Belarus president, his allies with Russia, I believe. So, yeah. And I'm going to read that again. The former advisor to the U.S. Army said that Bolivarian troops could potentially deploy into Ukraine as a Bolivarian military is set to conduct this month and in July. Where it conduct training. <laughs> in July, the uh, Gormwell region was closely borders to Kavi. They said these drills will cause serious concern because unfortunately Russia and its allies have consistently even using military drills as a mask to cover up their aggressive actions, said Void. <laughs> so yeah, you know, these uh, wars and rumors of wars is definitely heating up. And I'm gonna bring out the uh, scripture. Mark 13 and 7. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, seeing that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. I mean, for Salaki, let me read that again. Mark, Mark 13 and 7 in the Holy Scriptures and it reads and when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars be ye not troubled for such things must be but the end shall not be yet right 
because we are entering the stages of a a more stirred up increase of a uh, more tensions of the nations to rise against nations and the kingdom against kingdoms as well too because the nation is going to continue to increase against one another with the increase of uh the wars and rumors of wars increasing more than ever and it's going to increase to its highest state more than ever as well too you know <clears throat> this is the book of Joel and that goes into the uh, potentially Belarus troops it's going to be potentially right next to Kyiv because they're doing a, a military training, as I was reading the article. And then you got the, uh, you know, UK. You know, they are uh, potentially might uh, give uh, Ukraine military aid as well, too. And then you got uh, Belarus, that's allies with Russia. So, you know, they Belarus troops, they're going to be deployed it next to the uh border of uh Kyiv over there in Ukraine <coughs> their military drill is going to be uh starting this month I believe and in July as well too so you know they I was reading through the article it says that might cause a lot of concern of potentially uh Belarus soldiers is going to uh fight alongside with the Russian soldiers <clears throat> against Ukraine and its allies as well too, you know. Cause you know you got uh these uh countries, these NATO NATO countries with the Western allies with the United States is going to continue to fund military aid and military money for for the Ukrainians, you know, that's still fighting with the Russians, you know. Which they might they call it a um, Russian military operation. So yeah, you know, it's the wars and rumors of wars is gonna continue to increase. Back to what I was saying about the uh, the uh, Belarus troops gonna potentially fight alongside with uh, Russia, and then Ukraine. I mean, then you got a uh, uh, UK is gonna be constantly continue to uh, is, uh, fully support Ukraine as well too and this is the book of Joel chapter 3 verse 9 because we're in the stages of, of of this scripture it's right here as well too that I'm about to bring out this is the book of Joel chapter 3 verse 9 proclaim thee this amongst the Gentile which is the other nations outside of the nation of Israel prepare war wake up the mighty man right that's where we're seeing these nations are gearing up and preparing for war and that's what we are seeing you know you seeing the increase of these nations are doing uh full military exercise drills in different parts around the world over there in the south china sea you know you have these other nations purchasing military equipment doing full uh training uh, preparing for full training on uh, military exercise drills, Navy novel exercise drills as well too. So yeah, you know it's a, a lot of uh, tension stirring up of that. You know, with the nations and gearing up, preparing for war. You know, <coughs> but they said the uh, the uh, the Russian Ukraine situation. It might last a little bit longer, you know, because you're uh, seeing a a lot of a, a lot of shell shelling shelling bombings and stuff like that, in in a lot of areas in Ukraine, in different parts of Ukraine as well too, <laughs> in different parts where still you know battles still going on in those different areas in Ukraine, you know. Because Russia called this uh, an operation over there to invade Ukraine, you know. So now you got uh, UK is potentially going to get involved in it. And United States as well, too. We're not for sure they're going to uh, 
deploy uh, troops because they do got troops in Eastern Europe. They do got troops over there, deployed it over there, I believe. Like 2,000 some troops, I believe, like a couple of months ago when Joe Biden added uh, additional 1,000 or 2,000 troops, I believe. It was like a couple of months ago, early on this year. So, you know, it's a, anything can go down, you know, in regards to that, because we're entering the stages of, uh, you know, Joel 3 and that that I just brought out, you know. Uh, and I'm going to read it again for edification's sake of this uh, sit-down lesson for today. This is the book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 9. Proclaim deed this amongst the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men draw near and let them come up. Right? And let them come up. You know, that's why you're going to see intentions stir up in the Middle East. Because it's going to come all the way down to the Middle East. And that's what's going to. That's what's all going to take part at. All the Armageddon and all that is going to be down in the Middle East. Because we're seeing signs of that. We're getting close to it. And, you know, and it's actually going to happen, you know. The Third War's War is actually going to happen, you know. So we are in the stage and, and seeing it taking place, you know, throughout the uh, world, you know globally as well too you know so you got to see the tensions increase over there in the south china sea you're gonna see uh nations that have these uh trust agreements and ceasefire agreements is going to expire and they're going to get back into war like type mode you know because we're definitely entering those times Wars and rumors of wars gonna increase, even though tensions gonna calm down with these uh, wars against these other nations that's been adversaries for each other for a while. But it's gonna increase back up once again, you know. Even though it had slowed down a little bit, but it's gonna increase even more, you know. You're gonna hear more from Iran. You're gonna hear more from China hear more from Russia, hear more from North Korea, South Korea, India, Pakistan, you know, Turkey, uh, and Syria, Somalia, and many more uh, countries as well, too. They got uh, nuclear capability, you know. Because <clears throat> like in the book of Joel 3 and 10, let the weak say I am strong. I believe India, not too long ago, about what, two two weeks ago, you know, they tested their nu nuclear capability. So, you know, these nations are uh, got nuclear capabilities, you know. Just like when North Korea tested their 17th or 18th missile launch about, what, two or three weeks ago. So, you know, these nations going to continually build up their nuclear arsenal. And then they're going to continue to do their uh, full military training and gearing up, preparing for war just in case anything goes down that comes any towards of uh, any imminent potential threat that comes their way. That's why they're gearing up, preparing for war, you know, because it's, it's going to approach that time. And we are definitely living in those times and we're going to definitely see it uh, happen as well, too. You know? So with that, I hope this uh, sit down lesson was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahusha. And uh, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor too to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rekar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, great meals, so I'm preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And shout out to the Akim scattered through four corners of the globe, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And shout out to the Akim that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. <laughs> and until next time, I'll say uh, shout out and a ball, ball.